It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll see a pair of teams who call Chicago home in the NFL's earliest days. It's the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. They'll start out here with the option left. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Murray going to throw. That pass completed to Deutsch. Down to the 10, and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great effort there. 73 yards. And the Cardinals go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading him out. The Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game. Almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Here's Williams. 
And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they just watched the other team take the ball downfield and score, so they knew that this drive, this opening drive, was on them. And, boy, that was important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. Looking to throw is Williams. Incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. From the gun, here's Williams. He'll get this to the longtime charger. It's Keenan Allen. Five yards, now it's third and five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw, it's Williams. A throw left sideline for us incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here comes the Bears punter now. And back deep is DJ Dallas. It'll be a net of 39. 41-yard punt, two on the return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. First carry for James Conner. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Conner going to get it again on second down. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up, 
They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Murray. Got his man. It's Dorch. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Here's third and seven. To throw, it's Murray. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, the game the underneath stuff, you got to go up and make the tackle right away. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. On play action, here's Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down and then some, 36 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. To the air once more, Williams. He'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. We all speculated that this offense was going to be a lot more high-powered. And Adunze's drafting definitely puts it in that category. Explosive speed, refined routes, and last year he led college football in contested catches with 21. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 29, here's second and five. They'll go play action here with Williams. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync. Dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike.
This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. To the air, Williams. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer, at least, if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Santos' kick is up and through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Connor going to get it again on second down, and he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Now Murray. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, Tyreek Stevenson, great coverage there to break it up. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. 
Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. It's Zabin Collins who got in there to get the sack. And he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch, but at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Now second and five. Here's Murray. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. Murray now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. He's got the rookie. That's Marvin Harrison, Jr. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. Their second so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Murray now to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Murray to air it out again. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So 
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final shot before break. Williams. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Kyler Murray. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bears now ready to take over again. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trailed by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying... Our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Swift going to try up the middle. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I know they'd Love to take some heat off of that young quarterback but so far not much in the running game and this won't help things either a loss on that play so now third and ten a big play to start the drive but nothing since throwing is Williams and he is stopped just short on third down got nine yards but needed ten that was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, 
He might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. To throw, Williams. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lewis. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down and three. They run out of the gun with Swift. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Working out of the gun, Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Swift will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw is Murray. Throw left side complete. That's Harrison. They'll give him four yards there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Throwing now is Murray. He's got his man. It's Harrison. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
He got 29 yards that time. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Murray going to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Demarcus Walker. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Operating from the gun. Murray. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But oh my goodness, just too much air under the ball. And he knew it right away. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Bears offense and D.J. Moore headed back onto the field. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been the star of the show as they have just had absolutely no answers for him defensively. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. He finds his target, Allen. Still going. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Keenan Allen, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bears strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Obviously a huge touchdown for their team, but a big touchdown for a rookie quarterback here to be able to break the tie in the fourth quarter. And he just shook off all the pressure, too, because when you think about it, tie ball game, rookie quarterback, most of them are thinking, don't make a mistake. Instead, this young man just said, I'll make a play. Now the point after try for Santos. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. 
Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. The drive will start with Connor. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 25, here's second and nine. Back to throw. Murray, screen pass to Connor. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Here's Williams. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven he's going to get it again just looking to get forward and protect the ball and now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 157 to go in the ball game A 
Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Once again, it's Swift. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a give right side Swift to the 36-yard line. Stop there. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football. Maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.